Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with the two inch brush and a little bit of black and blue. And we'll come right up here to the corners and just drop in a very nice sky. I don't need too much sky today because I think we'll have a lot of trees. So we just need a little sky. When you have the top done, then gently let it work down toward the bottom with less and less pressure so it gets lighter down here toward the horizon. Now I'll tap that brush through some blue. There was a little bit of black on the brush, but not much, with mostly blue. And I'll just pull in from the sides to create some water back here with a clean two inch brush. We can come down here and blend. We'll just blend across on the water. And then the sky will do big overlapping X's just to soften it. A lot of the sky will be covered up today, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Now I'll tap a one inch brush through a little bit of black. And we'll come up here and tap. And we get very, very far away trees. I don't have much paint on here, almost none. I knocked off quite a bit of it on the palette. And I'm just looking for very, very loose tree shapes. Nothing too distinct and nothing too dark. All right, that looks pretty good. Maybe darken up the color a little bit, only a little bit. And let's do another row right there. With a clean two inch brush, we can grab the base of these trees and pull down. You can see I even, I even put a little bit of color there to make this easier. So you pull straight down and then brush lightly across to create some very nice reflections. Now I'll tap a one inch brush through a little bit of yellow and some green. Not a lot of paint here. And I'm just gonna come up and lightly tap. I haven't loaded too much paint on the brush because I want these to be pretty soft. With a little bit of white paint on the knife, we can rub in a little water line back here. With some brown and green, on the one inch brush. We can think about some large trees in this painting. In fact, I think, I think we're gonna do something with a path down in here. So maybe there we'll have a lot of big trees growing around the path. I think that'll look nice. So we'll just tap in the basic shape, the basic outline of the tree. Let's block in some trees over here. Maybe these trees, they're somewhere off the painting and all we see are the limbs that hang in. With the two inch brush and a lot of good dark color, we can come in here, right about here, and just start tapping. This is blue and black and brown and some green. Just about all the dark colors I have on my palette. And I'll just tap in some land. There we are. Kind of cut that pond off to the size you want it. I've loaded up the fan brush with a light on one side and a dark brown on the other side. And now maybe the light's coming in from this direction. So put the light side facing toward the left. And then in one stroke, you can create the highlight and the shadow of your tree trunk. Reload that brush the same way. And there's another limb right there. With a little bit of yellow and green on the one inch brush. We can tap on some leaves to these big trees up here. I'm using only the corner of the brush to tap. If you use the entire brush and tap, then 
it'll kind of look like a rubber stamp. It'll get a square and it won't look good. So use the corner. It doesn't matter which corner, just pick a corner. Leave a lot of dark in your tree. Don't over highlight. Leave a lot of nice shadows in there. Now I'll go into a little bit of red just to change the color. And let's tap on some highlights to this. Maybe it's a little tree or a big bush. Whatever it is, it needs some highlights. And I really like this orange color because we had yellow on the brush. It's not real bright. If you have only red on the brush, it'll probably, probably won't look natural. Instead, dull that red down, either by using a dirty brush like I did, or just by adding well, some yellow or green, whatever. Now that we have the trees done, we can think about some grass. So I've loaded up the two inch brush with some of that same yellow and green highlight color. And we'll just tap. And I'm working in layers. What I mean by layers, I'm leaving a dark area every once in a while to create a new layer. Without, without dark, it will look flat. No depth at all. And I want a lot of depth and dimension in my grass. Any area that's too bright, you can tap it. It'll pick up that dark color we put down and it should be just perfect. With some brown and black on the knife, we can come back here and start rubbing in a path. Now we already have a lot of dark paint there, so it's really no big deal just to drop this in. You don't have to cover it perfectly. You don't have to worry about covering up all the white. It's just dark. I'm looking for a little bit of texture and that's about it. With some brown and white on the knife, we can add some highlight to this path. Now this is very important here, the angle of the knife. I have kind of a sloping hill right here, but I want the path to be flat, like it's worn, and worn down, so that way it's not sloping right here. So the angle of the knife is very important. With some brown on the knife, we can come maybe right here and drop in a tree. Bring it down to about that far. And we'll just fill it in with good dark color. We'll come back and add some nice highlights in just a second. And Maybe we need one more tree right there. With some white on the knife, we can add in some highlight. Maybe these, maybe these will be birch trees today. So I'm using pure white. Now that we have our trees highlighted, we can add on a few branches just a little bit. And I'm using the script liner. I've thinned this paint down so that it flows right off the brush. If yours doesn't flow, add some more paint thinner. With the one inch brush, we can tap on just a few little leaves up here. I haven't loaded very much paint on this brush. And I'm also tapping it so that it kind of pops the end open so that bristles aren't clumped together. That way I get very loose leaves because I, I really like that background. I don't want to cover too much of it up. So I'll keep them mostly up here in the sky and I want them very loose. With a little bit of yellow and green, we can tap on just a few little highlights on here. And this kind of finishes out the painting, makes it look complete and very nice. 
All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my DVD for sale. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.